Hello everyone, what is up? How you doing? We are out here on the first day of the second week of me working at UNICEF. So today's Monday morning, obviously. This weekend, if you saw my last vlog or my weekend vlogs with Sierra, my best friend, she came to visit and it literally went by like in the blink of an eye and now I'm already going back to work. We had so much fun. But basically what I'm saying with that is I didn't really get to do my normal routine of uh, grocery shopping, getting ready for the week. So I'm kind of all over the place. I'm determined to make it to the gym today because I didn't work out during the week at all last week because I just had so much all over the place going on. We might end up at the gym next to the office, but I've been to that one and it's like crazy crowded. So I might head back to Brooklyn and go to one here. I feel like I'm more, I'm obviously more prepared with what to expect in my second week. I'll show you guys my outfit and then we'll head to the train. For the gym later, I just grabbed a little sports bra, some black leggings, and I'm gonna take my new Whitney Simmons top. And I still got a tag on it, but one step at a time. Okay, here is my outfit for the day. I'm doing black with a little touch of periwinkle gray blue or something, I don't really know. But I just wanted to be comfy, so I'm wearing my black slouchy pants from Urban with pockets, and this is from H&M, I think. It's just a black tank with a little cami under it, and then this little duster, oh, dusting my plants over here, is from Shein, and I think I'm gonna bring these. They're like, they have the tiniest little wedge heel, they're really old, and then I'm just gonna wear my tennis shoes for the commute, and I got my stuff packed up for the gym. Ready to go, so I will see you guys at some point later today. Good morning, yikes. I was just walking to Starbucks to get some coffee during lunch and the sole of my shoe came off so it's safe to say I won't be wearing these again. Okay I'm walking into well towards Grand Central now from work. It was a great day, great Monday, went by quick. I am on my way actually to GNC because I want to pick up some more Alani new pre-workout so I think there's one up either in or around Grand Central. It's definitely about to rain and I think I'm gonna go check out another location of my gym by Grand Central that I haven't been to yet. So yeah, I'm excited to get a workout in because it's legit been a week since I've had a proper workout. I've been like walking a lot, which I always do, but still it's just not the same. And there we are, that was easy. And they have a lot of new. I think I'm gonna get Hawaiian shaved ice. Just mix it up. This is good. I'm back. I decided not to go to Trader Joe's after the gym because I just realized I have too many like random things here that I can throw together that I don't need to be buying more food. So I don't want to waste anything. So I'm just going to get creative and then do a full grocery shop next week because I still have a couple of fresh meals too. So I was like, I can make it work. I bought this little soprasada that I thought me and Sierra would eat with like crackers and hummus or something, but we never got to it. So I'm having a little pre-dinner snack because it's 7 p.m. So I'm just gonna have a couple pieces with crackers. I'm not gonna go crazy because I do wanna make an actual dinner and not spoil my dinner as the adults would say. <laughs> oh, plastic in my mouth. I really like that gym. I haven't been to that location yet, the one at Grand Central. And I really liked it because Considering it was right at Grand Central Station, where there's so many different office buildings and so much going on, it was surprisingly like not busy. I mean, it was busy because it was after work. I went like at five, so prime time. But it wasn't like crowded, crazy, overwhelmed, like trying to jump in on a machine. It was like easy to get around and there was stuff open. So I think I might make more of a routine out of that. I really like that location. Also, it's right by the train. Ooh, I can make pork carnitas tacos, crispy Parmesan chicken, I think I'll go for the tacos. I'm finding the work-life balance and it's tough. I think last week, even though it was my first week, I was already feeling the heat of like putting my health on the bal balcony, back burner. I was prioritizing social things and it was awesome. And there was like, I had so much fun last week and went to different events and stuff. But I really, I don't think I got more than like five and a half, six hours of sleep any night. I didn't like work out at all. So I'm trying to find work-life balance. It's seven now. Um, I'm gonna take a shower and get everything ready, make dinner, and hopefully like go to sleep before 10. I'm gonna eat some more suppressive, figure out my life, and then show you when I make dinner. I love this short by the way. Respect for yourself and for others. 
It is 8.15 and I finally finished making my dinner. I didn't want to make all three. These are the pork carnitas tacos. So I used my own corn tortillas, but I just put a little bit of meat on the side and made two. Then I put two in a prep container for tomorrow for lunch at work. I'm so excited to dig in and I'm watching Gossip Girl. And it's just a grand old evening. Okay, you guys, I'm just about ready to go to work. It is Tuesday morning and I thought I'd show you what I'm wearing. It's gonna be much colder today. It was like cloudy and a little rainy yesterday, but it wasn't like that cold. It was honestly in the 70s, which was nice. But today it's like 58 degrees. So I'm wearing my black turtleneck, the Free People one, and I put my hair up in a little braid because I decided not to wash it yesterday. So I'm going to Soul Cycle after work today. So I figured I'd rather wash it then. I'm going with my friend Melissa and we're going to the one at Bryant Park. So I'm just going to walk there. And then I'm wearing these like khaki kind of pants from Loft. And my little belt that I got from Cotton On. They have this embroidery on the sides. And they're cropped perfectly for a short person like me. And I'm wearing black booties with them. And then I'm actually going to add green. <laughs> I'm just wearing this to be warm. Probably take this off in the office unless it's like actually freezing because it's pretty casual the coat just a nice little fall bundle <laughs> i actually got the most sleep that i've gotten in a while last night i went to sleep before 11 it was like 10 45 really proud of myself and then i woke up first at 6 30 slept till 7 <laughs> so i got a good actually that's about eight hours heck yeah anyway hopefully a few more nights of that if i can pull it off Again, this office is not as formal attire as the State Department was, so my outfits are a little more casual. At least, I can be cozy. Needed this this morning. <laughs> okay, it's after work now, and I'm walking to CVS. It's loud because it's New York. But I ran out of makeup wipes to use my last one last night, and I need like toothpaste, and probably just other random things that I'll find. So I'm going to CVS and I'm going to Soul Cycle in an hour in Bryant Park. So I'm just walking there. Here we go, CVS. Okay, since when are makeup wipes? Nine dollars. There should be like four. Okay, I'm now in Bryant Park, which is honestly one of my favorite parks, I think. It's just so cute. They have little coffee stands. I'll do a little haul of what I got. In New York, I feel like no one cares what you're doing, so I don't really care about vlogging by myself in public here. I got the two pack of fragrance free makeup wipes because they didn't have the two pack of normal ones, it was $15, ridiculous. And then I got two faces. this is literally all I got, but I got the Crossroll, I really don't even care. I don't use a certain brand of toothpaste, but I got the cheapest one that looked nice. Cheers. Just finished Soul Cycle, and now I came at Old Foods because there's one across the street, and I think I'm just gonna grab a dinner from the hot bar if I can locate it. I don't know where I'm going. Okay, I am finally home and it's blurry and my sleeve smells like balsamic vinegar because I spilled it on the Whole Foods hot bar. So I'm gonna eat dinner now, I'm very excited. I'm a little bit of a mess, but I just wanted to say, I freaking love that Soul Cycle class with Eddie at Bryant Park. I, it's been a while since I've like been super inspired by a new instructor. I haven't been like trying tons and tons. You know that feeling when it's just like, Oh, like I needed that. That's the feeling that I had after that class. And I think, first of all, it was his energy. I loved his class, loved his music, his pace. And what it was for me, it was like something so personal. And I know that a lot of people have these like emotional moments in Soul Cycle, and that's just never been me. When he played this song, it just like slapped me in the face. It was the last song, it was like the ride home song where they go super fast, and it's just like the super empowering blah blah blah. If you know Soul Cycle, you know what I'm talking about. And he played Sweet Disposition by The Temper Trap, and that just like hit me in the lungs because it just reminds me of like milestones in life and big changes and how far I've come because that song in particular. I played it in my moving vlog when I moved down to college from Oregon when I was 18. I played that in the vlog. Pretty sure I got copyrighted for it, so whatever, worth it. And ever since then, just looking back at that and like thinking about how far I've come, that song just like means so much to me. And I played it, I put it in another video I did reflecting on my college experience and like moving on at the end. I don't know, just something about that song just really takes me back to that place and really reminds me of like, how crazy it is like just a few years later where i am in 
at in life that song just really means a lot to me which i didn't realize until i was in this soul cycle class and i actually felt like so emotional from that song i don't know i thought i was gonna cry for a second because i was like oh my god when i first like put that in the vlog that i was moving to college and i was so excited like who would have known that a meager six years later which is a long time but still like here i am like living out my lifelong dreams in new york and all these cool opportunities and even though it doesn't look like picture perfect how i pictured it i've come so far and accomplished so much and learned so much since then and it's just crazy i don't know but i don't know i just thought i'd share that really cool moment because i feel like music especially has those memories attached to it and smells but you know that just like I don't know, I didn't realize how important it was until that moment. Anyway, really great class, needed that, and I definitely think I'll be going to his class more because it's convenient for me after work, and he was great. I definitely think I'm gonna put that song on my wedding somehow. I just decided. I'm gonna eat this, watch YouTube videos, shower, and go to bed because that's my life now. Oh, I guess I'll show you what I got. <laughs> I really don't know what I did. I really wanted their sweet potatoes because I love the Whole Foods Pop Bar sweet potatoes, but I got some sort of chicken breast Cajun thing with this rice and bean mix underneath, and then I made a little salad on the side with spring mix and some green beans, some like cucumber, uh, onions, peppers, and I put some balsamic on it and on my sleeve. Life is good. Oh, it's a little full. <laughs> You might be wondering, Christy, why are you still home at 9.47 a.m. on a Wednesday with self tanner on? I am working from home today, which is crazy because it's only my second week, but my supervisor told me that she had to, she wasn't gonna be in the office today. I mostly like interact with her at this point just because of um, like the work that I'm doing and the transition, but I uh, don't have any meetings or anything I have to be at. So she was like, you can work from home too if you want. And I was like, really? And I almost didn't, but then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it because I didn't really have a chance to be home since I started and then all weekend I was out and about. I just think I needed a little bit of time. So I'm still working obviously, I'm online, but I'm in my PJs with self tanner on and I'm gonna get my work done pretty quick hopefully and then I already started my work that I need to do today. I have like short term things I'm working on and longer term. I'll do a little bit of work on the long term thing and then I'm gonna go to the gym. It's gonna be a good work from home day, I'm excited about it. This is new to me just because all the work I've done in the past, like when I was interning at the State Department, it was all, like we couldn't do anything from home, at least I couldn't, because they're a very sensitive network, so you like pretty much just have to do everything on the computers there. It's actually so nice to be home right now. Work from home routine. <laughs> it's rainy. I think I could listen to Frank Sinatra all day, every day, and not get sick of them. Love you, Frank. Someone suggested that I try making toast instead of on the stove, because I know I'm a toaster. Try it in the air fryer. So I was like, why the heck not? I just have my Udi's gluten-free white bread. This is the air fryer thing. And I'm just gonna spritz a tiny bit of coconut oil on each side. And I have this little silver thing that it's sitting on, so it's not directly on the bottom. I'm gonna do a little over 350. I'm gonna try four minutes and see if that's enough. We'll see. <laughs> okay, it just dinged. Look at that. This is like perfect. I'd call that a success. Good to know. So this is just nice if I'm multitasking and like making eggs on the stove or something. I can just throw the bread in the air fryer and my sausage is done. So now I'm gonna have avocado toast with sausage. The things you learn every day. Mid-morning brunch. Okay, I just erased my old phone and I'm turning it off for the last time. I'm finally getting around to sending it back to Verizon because I've had my new one for a week and haven't gotten to this yet. I'm gonna go drop it at a UPS store or UPS drop box, whatever the heck. It's about two o'clock now and I spent the morning doing my work, my daily stuff that I have to work on, I sent it in and I'm going off to the gym to take a little break. Um, and get a workout in. I'm gonna do a leg day. Super excited. Wearing my purple Gymshark long sleeve crop top and these black Fabletics leggings that I love. My little training shoes from Nike that are flat on the bottom so they're good for leg day. And then I'm gonna come back and finally wash my hair and then work a little bit on my long-term project that I'm working on. And then tonight I'm going to a little like dinner wine night with my friend Camille who I went to that um, speaker event with last week. Her friend Becky's having us over for like a little dinner and I'm excited. I need to pick up some wine to take to her place. But yeah, that's kind of what we have on the books. I'm finally gonna wash my damn hair. It's been long enough. <laughs> Okay. 
Thank you. Okay, I'm home now. I took a shower, washed my hair finally, and I'm just about to sit down and get back to a little bit of work, and I'm having a snack while I do that, so I thought I'd show you. I got some crackers. Did I film? I feel like I filmed this the other day. Oh, I didn't even realize there were pumpkin ones in this. You'd think the pumpkin on the front of it would give it away, but I didn't really think about it. And the everything hummus, which is my favorite flavor ever. Obsessed, especially the Cedars one, because they have the seasonings like all throughout, not just on top. And some more. So press that. I really like this combo of snacks. I'm gonna have some snack, get back to work, and then simultaneously like kind of get ready a little bit um, before I go to dinner tonight. So I have a few hours just kind of multitasking. I'm excited. It's a good day. I had a great leg workout, and it was kind of nice to be able to like go do that during the middle of the day. So this work from home thing is fun. <laughs> Okay, it's later now, finished my work for the day, and I'm gonna go head out to Becky's apartment, and I need to pick up wine before I go. But I thought I'd just, I don't know why I'm showing you this outfit, because it's not like cute and trendy. It's me being a human blanket because I'm so cold. So I'm just wearing this sweater from Urban. It's like that tie in the front one that everyone has, you know? I put my free people jacket over it that I'm realizing very quickly is like my go-to because it's literally a blanket, and I'm obsessed with it. Basically, I'm wearing a blanket. Thanks for people. And I'm wearing leggings and Air Force Ones to be comfy. It's pretty cold in my apartment. Not like cold, cold like I'm shivering, but cold like I need to layer and wear sweatpants and fezzy socks because I never like got airtight things here to the, across the air conditioner. So it's a little drafty from the window and I have yet to turn this heater on. And in my last building, we had to wait until the whole building switched over at once so they'd like put up a sign like we're switching to heat this week beware that your ac is going to be off blah 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 but i've kind of been dreading when it comes along because i'm gonna have to rearrange this whole corner in my furniture when that thing starts emitting heat i actually have a little bit of time so i'm just gonna do some quick youtube stuff while i'm waiting until i leave i need to make a thumbnail and then i'll go pick up some wine and have a nice little wine Wednesday. Very chill day, love the whole work from home thing. It was great, but I'm excited to go back to the office tomorrow. I just picked up some rosé, going to Becky's apartment. Oh, just kidding, don't wanna get hit by a car first. Becky just made us this delicious, yeah, give as many shout outs as you want. Okay. Look at this, she just made this with her bare hands. It looks like it came from a restaurant. I'm so impressed. Please, can you talk us? through oh, yeah. what you made I and your I'd like to decisions. I'd my best friend Rebecca, <laughs> number one Christy Stan. Oh, and, uh, we love. her in LA and I miss her very much. Check her out on Spotify, Rebecca Aaron. I made some like assembly style rice bowls. So I have brown rice, a kind of cabbage -y slaw, um, like a gochujang roast chicken thigh. Oh, what? Gochujang? gochujang. Oh my God, wow. Like I don't thigh. even know that that's an actual thing. Ooh, uh -huh. beautiful, gochujang. situation. Um, some herbs, some avocado, and some carrots. I love the like sesame sprinkling yeah, everywhere. Yeah, it really I'm like really adds like, the pizzazz. Now you're like, oh, I know why she was like, are you fine with sesame? <laughs> like, I don't want to kill you. So cute. Put it on with everything. Thank you for cooking for us. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday. Sorry, there's an ad in the background. Oh my god, can't get away from this capitalism. I'm back in the office today, so super excited. I got home kind of late last night, so I'm, you know, trying to revive myself. It's tough. It's actually, like, sunny out this morning, which makes me so happy because I thought it was going to be rainy all week, and the weather, like, very much affects my mood, I've realized. It was a great work-from-home day yesterday. I had so much fun hanging out and having like wine night with Becky and Camille. I'm not sure what I'm doing after work today because I was gonna go to trivia at this bar that me and my friend Rebecca like going to for trivia, but she told me that it was canceled yesterday. Like they're not doing it anymore. It might just be a chill night, which like does not compute with me. <laughs> okay, this definitely would not go in my like top 10 Hall of Fame work outfits, but you know, it's just one of those mornings. I just 
don't care. So I just threw on this BP Old Nordstrom little white top. It's like a three quarter sleeve, but I already put my coat on. And these pants from Cotton On, which I wish they had belt loops because they're too big on me. If you're wondering whether or not I'm wearing fuzzy socks in my booties today, I am. <laughs> and this coat, I just wanted something warm. And this is fuzzy and it has a hood. It feels like Little Red Riding Hood. This is Fabletics. I'm going to work now and I will see you guys later. Okay, it's lunchtime now and I'm headed to Sweet Green because I love myself. And I just felt like it, so I ordered it ahead on the app. I'm getting me a salad. <laughs> Hello, you guys. It is nighttime now and I'm home. I've been home for a couple of hours just like decompressing. And I just had like an incredibly average, like, bleh day. It happened, I guess. You know, you ever have those days where you're like, well, I don't even have words for it. It's just like, it, it was there, it's, yeah. I was just very much like ready to be out of there at the end of the day. Excited, trust Friday. I mean, this week has been good, but it's just like, I think it's cause I'm really tired today. I didn't get much sleep last night and I think that's really affecting me a lot. I've realized the last couple weeks, especially being on the schedule, like I really, really need to try better to prioritize sleep in the future. So next week, that's gonna be my goal is to get even seven hours of sleep. I just decided like tonight, I'm just gonna chill. The trivia that me and my friend would always go to, um, they stopped doing it, which is sad. So we need to find a new place. But tonight I was just like, I just don't even wanna do anything. I'm gonna go home and have myself a night at home. I pay enough for this apartment. Like I might as well be in it more than two minutes a day. Just to like treat myself is a little almost to the weekend treat. I got some oat milk ice cream, so I'm gonna have some of that for dessert. First for dinner, I don't really have like my full grocery selection, so I'm just making avocado dose because like I haven't been eating it as much since I don't make breakfast here in the mornings. We love a good breakfast for dinner moment. I'm just gonna go to bed early and prioritize that sleep and hopefully get at least eight hours. I came home to this package and I was not expecting it at all. It said it was from Laguna Beach and it was handwritten. So I was like, okay, this has to be from my manager even though I don't know that they're sending me anything. And then I opened it and there's these stack of like leather. I don't know if it's, I don't know what it's actually made out of, but it's just coasters that say table rock management. Thanks guys, love the representation. It's actually nice because I was thinking like I don't have coasters and they're nice and neutral. So like, hell yeah, I could put my drinks on this and protect my tables. I don't know if like they were just sending these to everyone or if they just saw that I don't use coasters and they're like, yikes, Christy, like you need to have some class. We're gonna make you custom coasters. That's all. Okay, I'm gonna have avocado toast for dinner and live my life and sleep more than I have been which is good for me, bye. It's definitely starting to feel like fall. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. We've made it to the end of the week, finally. It's been a long week, even though it was like broken up by me working from home and I, I had like fun throughout the week, but I'm definitely ready for the weekend. So it is nice and sunny this morning. Nothing to complain about. I got eight hours of sleep. I'm currently watching the new Annie movie. Well, new as in like 2014, because I never watched it. And if you follow me on Instagram, I um, used a little Annie caption and then it made me want to watch Annie and then I was like, why don't I just watch the new one that I haven't seen yet and it's really good. So I'm like two thirds of the way through it. But anyway, I have to leave in like 10 minutes. So I thought I'd show you this cute little package I got from Smart Sweets, which if you guys don't know Smart Sweets, I'm obsessed with them. I think I've talked about them, but they're like gummies that are made with stevia. So they have less than three grams of sugar per bag and they're just delicious. They're sending out little PR packages because they're now selling at Target and Kroger, which is amazing because that means you can get them like everywhere. So they sent me some packs of the Swedish Fish ones, which Swedish Fish are my favorite candies. So love that. And the sour ones. Thank you, Smart Sweets. They also sent a little shopping bag, I think. This is so fun. Cake sugar, cake candy, Smart Sweets. So super cute. I just put it on like a shirt. It's like a tank top. Yes, I will definitely use this. That was my unboxing of the morning. I'm gonna finish getting ready now, put on some pants, and head to work for Friday. Okay, here's my outfit for today. I went with a little blush colored blouse that is from H&M. It's got a little pocket flaps, and then these kind of paper bag waist gray pants are also H&M, I think, actually. So, full outfit is from H&M. I really need to dig up some like certain work pieces that I have in mind because 
that drawer is just like a disaster. So I think this weekend I'm going to do some closet cleaning a little bit and just like pick out a few things that I've been missing and try and find them. I don't know what shoes I'm going to wear with these, but I think I'm going to pack my gym clothes and go to the gym after. So I'll probably wear tennis shoes there and then just slip on some little heels or something in the office. Friday. Thank God. <laughs> done with work for the week. I am walking to the gym right now and it's just like such a sigh of relief to be done. I don't know why this week was just like long, <laughs> but we made it. I'm gonna go get a workout in, start it off right. And yeah, I'm gonna go back to the gym that I went to on Monday that I liked. This is such a magical time of day in New York, like just before it's dark. Two months later and it's still just as magical. So, I just left the gym, focus on me. It was like a half decent workout, kind of. I got in there and I sweat and that's what matters. Okay, this is the end of my work week in my life with the Chrysler building. I'm just gonna go home and shower and get ready for the night. But I wanna upload all this footage for my girl Jana to edit. Thank you for watching my work week in my life for the second week of work, kind of getting a feel for things and trying to find balance. Today was a really good day. I mean, yesterday I was like kind of eh, like I talked about, but after getting like more sleep and I was just like more in the swing of it today. And yeah, I think it's still like a little bit up and down as I get used to everything, but overall good stuff. Definitely subscribe to see more of these work week in my life. I'm doing weekends too, so super stoked for the weekend. It's gonna be really fun. I have a friend from DC coming into town. I don't know, I have fun plans, so subscribe. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.